Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. I have a very special guest with me here, John McAfee. Uh, John is a very successful software computer engineer, uh, founded at McAfee Associates, which developed the McAfee antivirus. I'm a big fan of John, just from a tech perspective. And John, you are also a presidential candidate for this year, and you're also bullish on crypto. Many accolades. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm fucking with you, dude. I'm, I'm actually not making any noise at all. Thank you very much for that, uh, for that introduction. And, um, um, and thank you for having me on. I'm very, uh, very pleased. John. To join. I'm going to start with a hot topic, which everyone, a lot of subscribers and followers have been asking, ask John about his recent comments about Bitcoin, where you likened it to a Model T, saying it's outdated technology. Can you elaborate on that? Uh, are you still holding Bitcoin? Or you, you, um, and I agree with you. I've never, I've never held Bitcoin. People, listen, when I made the, the million dollar prediction, please, can, can we yep. run some numbers? Those of you who have adding machines that can multiply and divide, why don't you multiply 21 million by 1 million and see the fucking number you get. It is greater than the gross national product of the entire continent of North America. There is not a single entity in the world that powerful. And I said it was going to reach that in two years. Now, in addition, please God, just based on some common sense, that can't ever happen, ever. Now, people started believing it. I'm thinking, fuck me. <laughs> so people said, how did you arrive uh, at that prediction? Oh, I used a mathematical uh, system called point set topology, which predicts financial systems to within a 1% degree over years of time. Now, Anybody who can use Google and type point, P-O-I-N-T-5, set S-E-T-3, topology 5, 13 goddamn characters, if you had typed it in, would discover point set topology it has nothing to do with finance or prediction. It describes geophysical surfaces, nothing else. Now, if I can't give greater clues to the absurdity of my statements, trying to point out how absurd Bitcoin is. I'm sorry, not my fault, because one week later, just to be sure, I told you that I fucked humpback whales. Now, they weigh 70,000 pounds or 50 feet long, travel with sick knots, and the vagina is 40 feet on water. Please, God, you tell me how anybody can fuck a humpback whale, and yet 50% of the people believed it. Recently, I put out a tweet where I confessed to eating living human brains. <laughs> Please God. So, so <laughs> this is how I this is how I shine a light on absurdity by being absurd myself. No. So three months ago it became clear that people were believing this shit. So I go, please come and wake up. It's an old technology. You think not? I, I show me. I, I'm in agreement with you. Like from a utility standpoint, the speed, the cost, all of that, certainly there are more advanced uh, cryptos and Plus, it's got no privacy. Mm -hmm. You can't do a smart contract. There's no distributed applications. What the fuck? Well, it well, was a beautiful, a beautiful opening of a door into the world of the blockchain and cryptocurrency. God bless you, Bitcoin, for doing that. And from that tiny opening of that door, we have built some amazing shit, people. Yep. But not, not on Bitcoin and not on the Bitcoin the blockchain. So, it's old, tired. <laughs> it needs to be retired. So, it does, and you all know it. Yeah, and I'm in agreement with you. As far as the utility, it really sucks. Uh, I've been on record on that. But what do you think about the store of value, the digital gold that a lot of folks are proposing? And we see a lot of companies are building financial instruments and products around it from a store of value standpoint, where it's like gold, it sits there, right, as a hedge. What, what do you think about that? Well, let's look at the history. It's gone from 
next to nothing to twenty thousand dollars down to three and up to nine and a half now please. what store of value is that you want a store of value use a um a stable coin i use dai why i don't know it's never more than one percent from the u.s dollar people prefer it listen if i everything i do is with cryptocurrency i don't use fucking dollars or yens or pounds or chinese yuans if you're still doing that you're not in the movement there are tens of thousands of those people who live what we speak sure, I, sure. if you want to hire me you goddamn well for the pain you know now and that and that's awesome that that you're living the life there right saying i'm gonna live it in crypto versus because fiat. there's nothing yeah. you can't buy with it except convenience we can't go down to the goddamn coffee shop and buy a cup of coffee and pay in dai or monero or anything else so so on that note you said you never held bitcoin but you have dai what else are you holding in your portfolio yeah, I'm Monero. It's all, yeah, it's all I need. I got to have a privacy coin. Sure. I don't want the government to know what I'm doing with my finances. It has no business in my fucking finances. No government does. Agree. And if you think it does, then please accept the truth that you are a slave to that dollar or that yen or that British pound. So, or whatever. Uh Maybe. On that note, as privacy coins have become more relevant, uh, Monero and many others, we know the U.S. is looking to put out crypto regulations. Do you feel as the average Joe, like say myself, if I have Monero and I'm using it, does that put a target on my back? I mean, I mean John yes, absolutely. Yeah. And it's going to be illegal. You know this. But please, God, let's get real. Marijuana has been illegal for 75 years in America. Most of it. Did it stop anybody who wanted to smoke weed from smoking weed? <laughs> no. And if you let a law against a privacy coin, which is much harder to find and prosecute, I mean, a dog can walk by your apartment building or your home and sniff that you've been smoking weed. Sure. They can't walk by your home and sniff as you've been using privacy coins. Please, God. So if you were willing to break any law, going over the speed limit, smoking weed, whatever, parking in a no parking zone, Jesus, God, people wake up. Yes, it will be illegal, but so fucking what? Continue doing what your heart knows is right. Now, I don't say the smoking weed is right, <laughs> but if your heart said smoke it, and smoke it. If you can't smoke it, don't smoke it. End of story. What do you think about the Lightning Network, which is being built to improve the scalability and utility of Bitcoin? Do you think it will help solve the problems that you're highlighting? Obviously, the privacy issue is another barrier, but what about the utility, day-to-day -day utility? Listen, <clears throat> all of these attempts to bring Bitcoin into the modern world are like building a skyscraper on the foundation of a one-bedroom shack. <laughs> yes, you might be able to build that skyscraper. And what I promise you, it will not be useful. I promise you the nearest wind will blow it over. No, stop. Admit that was the beginning. The first architecture. Well, what would it be if every one of our weapons, including nuclear weapons and so on, were based on the bow and arrow? <laughs> we had to have an arrow and a bow and a string. And if you wanted to shoot a grenade, do it with a bow and arrow. And if you wanted to reach the moon, do it with a bow and arrow. Please, God, it doesn't work. Stop. It's old, tired. Let it die in peace, people. Give it the respect it deserves. It opened the door to the most powerful technology that's been placed in the hands of we, the people, in over 200 years.
because every other world-changing technology from the nuclear bomb to the stealth fighter came from the bowels of a government program or from a giant mindless soul of this corporation but blockchain technology given to us by the bitcoin people as open source here take this use it in the best of fucking health yes that is what we owe bitcoin we owe it a decent burial people agreed so so i'll what... drag a festering stinking body to the shining streets that we have developed based on what that body gave us that that makes sense i i I totally understand where you're coming from and from a principle standpoint and certainly agree with you on the utility aspect. Um, some folks are curious to know about what are your thoughts are on Ethereum as the number two and XRP as a number three? Well, Ethereum, fuck me. <laughs> uh, it was the first smart contract blockchain. And certainly more tokens have been built on that blockchain than every other token and every other blockchain combined and you know this is the truth from the erc20 tokens all the way to the erc 1440s plus dai you fucking name it yes ethereum will be with us forever and it gave us the concept thank you vitalik as much as i truly dislike that man i don't know why maybe it's because he rubs his bones on the walls i don't know he does that you know in videos <laughs> i don't fucking know he's not my type of person however he gave us a fucking gem now everybody now has smart contracts yeah yeah distributed applicant why because ethereum showed us the way bitcoin's in a blind goddamn corner then no shit about smart contracts, neither can it ever without some marvelously complex, ridiculous kludge to try to make it real, let it die, let it die. Ethereum will be with us always. Now, smart contracts distributed. Listen, when we did our first uh, McAfee tax distributed exchange was on Ethereum. Mm. So fucking easy. And we added Tron, then Binance. Uh, Bitcoin is coming out in five days. Uh, we're having them all. But the easier ones are the ones that have smart contracts because our logic is smart contracts on the blockchains. Right. Why? You can't shut it down. If, yeah. if I get arrested and they say, turn it off, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. I'm not can anybody wake up america and government this is the real world you're living in now you can't stop the mind not in the age of blockchain please see what you've been given and what are most of you doing if you have a golden key to unlock the cage of your financial slavery what are you doing with it scratching your fucking ass by trading and trying to make money God, I want to reach through the screen, grab you all by the throat, and shake you awake. Do you see the power in your hands that you are perverting by trying to make a quick buck? Hmm. So uh, what are your thoughts on XRP and what Ripple is doing with, with, with that digital asset? I'm not going to your comment. It, okay. I'm not a fan of XRP. I'm sorry. Got it. There are still scams in this world that are monumental that's all i will say and no more got it um so on that note where you mentioned about your decentralized exchange some folks had asked if there were uh, some updates you mentioned you'll be listing some new items uh, any other yes. updates? yeah okay uh, we're doing a whole bunch of stuff uh, bitcoin's coming out this week that'll be good you can now trade bitcoin with ethereum and and in a month with Tron and Lion. we will have cross chains for everything. Right now, it's just Bitcoin and Ethereum. You have no fucking idea how hard that was, taking this old, 
crusty, uh, retarded, uh, and um, rusty chain and making it work cross-chain with Ethereum. But we managed it, um, which is why I know how dead Bitcoin really is. We only did it just because people in the old world is Bitcoin there. But we have to say yes. In a year's time, people go, why is Bitcoin there? But for now, we have it. Um, our, our exchange, by the way, we've broken every rule in the book. <laughs> uh, we don't ask you your name, no documentation. We don't keep your IP address. We don't want an email, nothing. Wow. Just walk through our portal and start trading. Now, you want to list a coin? You don't have to pay a quarter of a million dollars like Binance. No, you push a button, put in the technical specs, give it a goddamn name, which is not conflict with anybody else's, and you're listed. Wow. Um, we charge no maker fees. We only charge one quarter of 1% taker fees. Why? We got to try to fund development, even though it's clear <laughs> that will never happen. Well, well that, that's certainly right. a game changer because I know listing fees are a big hustle and you, I know you well, highlight yeah, it. There's no listing fees. There's <laughs> no, no, your customer, no anti money longer. Not my job, people, to be the policeman of my customer. That's somebody else's job. Agreed. Unless they want to pay me, and they're going to pay me a lot. If that's what they want me to do. Yes, you got to police your customers. What are they, who they are? I don't know who you are. <laughs> Why do I need to know who you are? What business is it of mine? What do you do with your fucking money? None. Therefore, we ask you nothing. So There is no fucking record of what you have done. So on that note, because some folks were talking about, ask, ask John, you know, if he becomes president, what are the laws and regulations or uh, standards that you would set for the crypto industry? Okay, first and foremost, people, I'm John McAfee. I can't be president. <laughs> but if any of you entertain the possibility that I could be president, you desperately need to move out of your mother's basement, uh, open your eyes and see the real fucking world. It can't happen. But beyond that, I don't think it matters who the president is. I mean, Dwight Eisenhower, 1960, warned us the CIA is taking all of American's freedoms. If you do not stop it, you will have none. And, and the next president, John Kennedy, um, in November, I think it was November, said, um, I'm disbanding the CIA. One month later, he was assassinated. His brother, Bobby Kennedy, two years later, running for president, stated, if elected, I will disband the CIA. One month later, he was assassinated. They didn't bother to let him become president. Next president, Nixon. What did he say? I'm going to reduce <laughs> the scope of the CIA. Two months later, he was forced to resign. Good God, wake up, people. President's got no power. I mean, if they did, Obama, for example, would have implemented Obamacare in a way that it lasted. Did he implement it? Fuck yes. Did it last? Fuck no. It was not in the interest of the CIA to make a change of that magnitude. Donald Trump's wall. He boasts 93 miles have been built. Yes, absolutely. 91 have replaced existing deteriorating structures. Nothing changes. President's got no power. If you don't believe this, look at the Second Gulf War. The CIA demanded that Iraq be bombed into oblivion. So they sent a message to Washington saying the, the, the CIA king of the Middle East, I don't want you to call them king, probably is in the white word, saying about that thing, said, I want a rock bond, make it happen. Washington sent two men to the president saying, we want a rock bombing started tomorrow by noon, are you fucking clear? So what are we going to say? I don't give a shit. You know the president. Tell him they have nuclear weapons if you have to. What they do, Mr. President, 
So, so John, what do you think what would be what would would it take to change this system that's currently in place? Where, like to your point, we as Democrat or Republican doesn't matter what candidate, Libertarian, if you, even if they get in there, they're not they don't have that power anymore. What would it take? No. It takes us. Do you realize that the power rests on our shoulders? The power structure eats, sleeps. Uh, the jets that they jet around him, the yachts that they, they live on, that comes from our labor. It is the fruits of our sweat, of our brow. When we as a totality of people wake up to the truth, we don't have to do anything. And I don't know if you've ever read Ayn Rand or the book Atlas Shrugged. I've heard of it, we, but I haven't read it. We fucking shrug. We no longer carry it and it collapses. And if you think this is pie in the sky, then you know nothing about the French Revolution, the Russian Revolution, every people's revolution, either violent or revolution of thought that has happened throughout history. We, people, have the power. Without us, there is no hierarchy. And all we need to do is wake the fuck up and see the goddamn truth. All of us, simultaneously. If we're in a theater and, and the movie is so engrossing, like our movie is engrossing, Democrats against Republicans. Let's impeach the president. Let's do this. God damn, it's a war. You can't take your eyes off of the war. And so we're all watching a movie which is equally as enthralling. Somebody notices a fire in the back of the auditorium. Do you then sit down and go, let me have a, a pencil. I need, to, I need to, yes, I need to make a plan. How do I, no. You yell fire, and if people don't wake up, you grab the person next to you, shake them, and forcibly make them see. And then sure. they wake something up, and eventually we all see it. What plan do you need, people? <coughs> we know how to react to truth. We just don't know <coughs> how to see truth. Well, maybe the movement of cryptocurrencies and the, and the movement of decentralization will help foster that new thought, right? Well, I mean, it's, it's what I've been talking about for two years, and it's why I'm on the run. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because not only do I not pay taxes, and I never will again, it's illegal. Um, I tell other people now how not to pay taxes. Use a privacy coin and a distributed exchange. And <laughs> no. <laughs> You'll never have to pay taxes again. And they go, well, that's going to be illegal. <laughs> well, then weed was illegal. <laughs> so if, if you did nothing but legal shit in your life, I'd like to know what your life is like. Because none of us are like that. So no, don't give me that as an excuse. Right. So there's a question. Yeah, for one, one more question, my friend. One more? Okay. Someone asks, uh, will you, would you be willing to... And excuse me for putting on my sunglasses. <laughs> I had... Um, a cataract operation a year ago. I'm oh. 74. Wow. Ever since then, I cannot tolerate bright light. My apologies. No worries. It just makes you look cooler anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, are, folks are asking, are you willing to be tokenized? Tokenize yourself. Yes, we all have to be tokenized people. Listen, you know, I am the world's greatest privacy advocate. But acknowledging your unique human identity is a necessary step in your freedom. That does not mean that you're monitored, no, or controlled, or listened to, or their eaves dropping. No, 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 no. It just means that when you choose to interact with that system, which you have a right to interact with, you goddamn well better identify yourself through your keys that you've remembered, you've written them down, I don't give a shit how. But yes, you must all be tokenized and please do not think that having a unique identity is like that chip in your forehead where everything is monitored. Fuck no, you can still remain totally anonymous 
totally free, totally without observation. It's just that if you choose to interact with the system, then God damn it, we need to know that you are you. I know it sounds contradictory, but it is not, people. It is not. It's not the chip in the wrist, which, no, fuck no. It's a, I've got a key. Who are you? I'm John McAfee. Can you prove it? If I choose. Do you want to prove it? I don't know. I don't think I'm going to vote this election, so no, fuck you, and wander off. But no, do you want to vote? I think so. Do you have Who time? Are you, John McAfee. Can you prove it? Yeah. <laughs> Get the fuck out of the room. <laughs> well, I put in my keys. Now, it says I'm John. Are you satisfied, motherfucker? That's all. That's all. And if I choose never to interact with that system around me, call it government, call it whatever you want, that's my fucking right. I don't get a voice. I don't get a vote. I don't get to do those things which are granted to citizens. That's my choice. Does not mean that I can't at any moment give my keys. Here are my 16 keys. Get the fuck out of the room. <laughs> quietly speak them into the ear of this uh, microphone here. Yes, but, uh, yes I, it's a dog, a duck, a boat, a ocean. Yes. So, so, John, one last question. Just squeeze in. Where do you yes. where do you see the crypto market in the next three to five years? I don't give a shit. I'm not <laughs> in the market, never have been. But, but, but wouldn't right. you wouldn't you want your Monero to to go up in value? No, I want my Monero to be more used. Fuck the value. The value is in its use. Do you understand? It's not in some artificial exchange rate on a goddamn exchange. The value of Monero is I get to do a service, do a job for someone, and in return, I get Monero. And then later on, I want to buy a car. I can do that with Monero, or a house, or a professed shoes. Anything in the world except for the most convenient cup of coffee, can get a pizza. Does that really fucking matter, people? Is that the reason you're not here with me and tens of thousands of others who are living in a new world of freedom? Abandon your useless fucking slave lives and come and join us. You have no idea how beautiful economic freedom is because economic freedom is the basis of all other freedoms and you do not get it by making a trillion dollars. No, <laughs> you are even more confined than you would ever believe. And thank you very much for having me on. John, great stuff. Thank you so much. We'd love to hear you.